Hello everybody, I am Red King from Sinmo Robots, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, with the uh, the last one I did, um, I really enjoyed this game. I totally remembered how much I loved this, even though it was frustrating, because my ship flew up on the first try. But, it was always a good game, and I've decided I want to play through career mode for my very first time ever, actually. So, let's get started with this. We are going to start a new game, and we will be... And more robots, just like last time. We'll pick our flag. I like that one, because it's all geary and stuff like that. So let us begin the adventure. So first we're going to start off. I'm going to collect the astronauts. We never can have enough cannon fodder. I mean, volunteers? I don't think they're paid. We're going to do contracts now. So I've never done a contract before, and these look pretty easy. So what, launch a new vessel... Uh, 5,000 me 5, meters. I think I can do that. Escape the atmosphere. Orbit Kerman. Hmm. Kerman, not Kerman. So, I just accepted every single contract. We're just going to give them all a try and see if I can do it in one try. So, here's the first module. And I am going to build it. Okay. So, I hope my rocket skills are not as shoddy as I remember. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, that would be good. I'm gonna put a parachute on this right now because I know things are gonna bad things are gonna happen. And truthfully, I only need the this thing to survive. Everything else can just yank right off if it needs to. So we're gonna make this interesting. I am going to. I'm going to make a interesting breakaway system. Hopefully, bad things don't happen. So how I'm going to set this up is I'm actually going to make this the first stage. That'll go off. This won't go off until this stage is done. So this is going to be the second stage. And I'm really hoping that this is going to blast that off. And everything should work out hunky-dory. We're going to call this First Flights of Robots. Nope, and I spelled flight wrong. There we go. Alright. Now, just go ahead, and we will launch. Alright. <clears throat> well, let's see how this goes. Because, uh... It's a little top heavy. Just a just a wee bit. Alright, throttle up. I think it's Jebediah in there, isn't it? Oh, I hate having Jeb in there, but you know what? He'll be, he'll be okay. It's Jebediah. He'll figure it out. Alright, boys. Three, two, one. Oh god. Sound rockets make it so hard to control. Well, it worked how I wanted it to work. Even though now it's a little funky. Oh god, oh god. That's not happening. Well, I completed one contract. Even though this is not this is not going well. Oh no. This is worse than my first one. Nope, I'm just gonna have to... Well, I completed one contract. And, you know, we'll speed this up. And we'll move it along. So that was fantastic. Ah. First flight, everything went poorly. But you know what? We can now recover him. And you know what I completely forgot to do? I forgot to do science. Because that is something I very easily forget about. Alright. Let's remap this thing. <clears throat> I'm going to take those off. We're actually going to put them 
closer to the middle. You know what? No, actually we're not going to use those. We're going to do it this way. Okay. This is going to be... the new setup. Hopefully, this works out. Okay. Launch it. Alright, let's go. We're going to try it one more time. We're going to see how many contracts I can get done in this one attempt. Because I already failed the first time. How many do I have left? I have to do 5,000 reach space. Oh, look. I almost completely blundered and put it all in the one... So let's... Alright, we're thrusted, ready to go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that looks so pretty! Look how well it's going! Curve report. Keep that science! Ah, uh, I'm fighting! I'm fighting it! Let's go. Come on. Come on. We're almost at 5,000 meters. Uh, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Ah, uh, I can't do it. Oh, no. Everything's going so poorly. Oh, and there we go. Now I only have the one. Oh, maybe... And now it's just, now it's doing well. God, you just have too much power on that thing, and suddenly everything falls apart. But Jebediah looks pretty dang happy. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That looks good. Oh, what is going on? There we go. I don't know what happened there. It's hitting buttons. Things I don't remember how they're mapped, so I'm just trying to hit buttons. So we're just going to go straight for a straight ascent. Hopefully that'll get us into space. I don't think it will, but hopefully that thing is powerful enough. Crew report. Oh, no. That's not going to be strong enough. However, we will accept your contract. Whoa, look, and there's mud over there, mocking us. What a jerk. But, I'm going to speed this along, because it's going to get her further up, and now it's coming down from the descent. So I activate all the parachutes. What happened? Oh. Is my... Oh no. This is not going to be good. Oh, there we go. Woo! Kind of freaked out a little bit. It was just there was not enough oxygen or pressure to release the uh, uh, parachutes. Ooh, that was uh, that was terrifying. But uh, I thought that was a pretty solid rocket. But I guess it wasn't. I guess it just wasn't good enough. Hmm. Well, now that we have some science, we can actually make more attempts to at least try to make it better. I picked up some science on the way out. Oh, look at that. Slowed me down to 9.1 meters per second. Isn't that what gravity is? Isn't It's like 9.8 meters per second per second. Which is 8.8. Most of the ship survived. All right. Oh, look how well it floats. That's pretty awesome. Report. Report. Electric charge is failing. Oh, oh god. <laughs> You've taken a sample of the water here. There are bits of vegetation in it, suggesting a strong likelihood that there is land nearby. Keep data. Recover vessel. 
I guess he's still alive, even though he probably drowned. 12 science, 3.2 science. Very nice. 25 science total. And he is still very much alive. So let's go see if we'll be successfully recovered. So, now we have more rocket parts. However, I do not have much else. Hmm. What's it take? What's it take? I think I'm going to take this. Survivability. That seems to be a big issue. So, let's redesign. We're going to start fresh. Do I have any? I do have decouplers. You know what I need to do? I totally just forgot this, but I should go out and I should get new contracts. Let's see. Structural. That needs to stay on there. But this time, we're going to put on two of these. Got some side parachutes. The goo experiments. That's a good one. I like the goo. Communitron. That's not going to help me out right now. But let's see. Let's see. I think that should be good. Well, we do need to include some other things. I know it didn't really work before, but I feel like I can get it to work. Design, design, design. Okay. We're going to call this Shoot for Space. I'm going to launch it. Here we go. Another attempt at crazy. Oh, But this was always a very interesting game, especially how they have all this stuff set up and everything, where it's like, oh, well, you know, like, you have to actually figure out how your Kerbals are going to get places. The career, the contracts, and stuff like that was a phenomenal idea. I totally didn't accept any more contracts. That's my bad. But, three, two, one, we're off. Yeah, but it was really a phenomenal idea. It was a, it was a great idea about a game, especially such a small company, they, you know, calling Squad and stuff like that. They made such a great game, and I really, um, I really liked when they made the NASA pack, which included asteroids and also included new rockets and stuff like that that you could use from their setup, which made it even better because they were. Uh, they're much more powerful. They're literally like cheat rockets, though. I remember that from the NASA pack way, way, way back. And not even way back. That's probably like a couple months ago. But the NASA pack truly made like heavy rockets that I usually like to make. I do. I make such heavy, heavy rockets. And the, that, those kind actually were just... It was phenomenally big. Where it just... I don't know. It was pretty amazing at how much that changed the gameplay in my mind. The actual... Oh, now we're going to go for a little bit of a curved orbit here. But the actual way the game was played changed dramatically, because now you had these ridiculously powerful units that could take uh, the heaviest payloads into outer space, into orbit around Kerbin, and could take you... I had one take me to Mun Minimus, and I had a solar... Uh, rotation, solar orbit, which actually kept me, which gained me so much science, I didn't even know what to do with it. Because science was out then, uh, contracts is the new one that they've included, which was definitely like, I'm trying to get used to this contract business, and that's why I forgot to get that. Because, you know what, I just, contracts. Who knew, right? Like, who would have thought that I would need contracts to get through the rest of this game. But it's a good idea. It gives you more motivation. It kind of gives you that um, end feeling so that instead of just playing this game and trying to go, and, oh, like, I'm just going to go explore. I'm going to go to Mun, which is a great goal in of itself. But it's so much more interesting now that you have motivation to get more science, to do more stuff like that. And that reminds me, I need to do more science. Okay, mystery goo. I definitely need to remember to do that more often. 
Okay, we have apparently not officially reached space, because I don't hear the music change, but we are almost there. Oh, there it is. There's the music change. Let's see if I can get enough of an orbit. So let's see. Periapsis. 81, 80, 98, 82, 84, 86, 89, 104. That is good enough for me. Okay. So it's going to be a minute and eight second burn. I don't even know if I'm going to have that much. Uh, fuel to do that, so maybe I will have a suborbital trajectory on this one. But we're gonna start the burn actually right about now because it's a it's a pretty hefty burn, and again I'm likely gonna run out of fuel before I even finish said burn. Yep, and I am out of fuel. There it is, boys and girls. I have made it into space, which I made it into space last episode, but this time I made it in career mode. EVA. Yes, record that data. Store experiment. Now get back in there, Jebediah, even though I probably shouldn't keep pushing you around. But look how... Oh, God, I love this. I love the way this looks. Everything about this is so pretty. You know what? This is my opportune moment. Take my screenshot. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That was... Oh, and we missed our burn destination. So now we're going to fall into the ocean, which I'm okay with. Because for me, it's, I kind of remember like the astronauts going into it was like... You know, they would fall into the ocean, and so this was just... I don't know. This is phenomenal. I really love the way this game's come out. And how things are working in this. Oh, this is my favorite part. I love re-entry. Re-entry is one of the... One of my, like, most favorite moments. Right up to... The part where we start to catch... And there we go. We have detached. Fortunately, um, fortunately, but unfortunately, there's no actual like re-entry heat problem, which would be really cool. I've seen mods for it and stuff like that, but uh, it's definitely a something I'd like to see in the regular game. Because I mean, they kind of just take physics and they just do whatever they want with them. Because look at this rotation. I can go wherever I want, and it just stops me dead. That's gonna be my drag shoot. Let that go off, because it's actually supposed to go off. I think it goes off at the same height that these do. Yes, these deploy at the same height. So right now it's kind of just like a redundant shoot, really. I probably only needed that one, but it was such a good good way to go. This ship was so... Ah, it did exactly what I needed to do. It got me in space. Pretty happy. Oh, thank goodness we're fast-forwarding. I'm going to cut this shoot, and I'll cut this one. So then we'll fall a little bit faster. 7.7 .7 meters, which is not bad. We can take uh, 7.6. It'll slow us down enough that we can take that impact. And Jebediah will survive another mission. And now we are going to recover him. So let's take a look at how much science we acquired this time. So we got 48 science. Hell yes. And that's not even like... I'm not even doing this the right way. I've seen other people do this kind of stuff. And they're... Some of those people are just crazy. They just do stuff that I don't even understand. So I'm just going to accept all of this stuff. And you can read it if you pause the video. Actually look it over. Um, I have no idea what any of it does, but... Might as well try it, right? Okay. So, everybody... I uh, would say a good first mission, especially with the contracts and everything like that. And I'm actually going to continue this this specific series. This I haven't thought of a name for it at all. I'm just going to call it, you know, career mode for the time being. But if any of you have suggestions of what you want to name 
this series, please comment below. Let us know. If you like this and you want to see more of it, or if you don't want to see more of it, um, please like the video, subscribe, uh, tell your friends about it, because I really like Kerbal Space Program. Space Engineers, you should check that out, because that's one of our, you know, one of the more popular videos I have out at right now. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for joining me. I am Red King from Send More Robots. Always remember who you are and what you are. Don't go cause any trouble out in that world. And always remember... The loot crate this year, this week, actually this month, was pretty dope. That little Groot guy, the glow-in-the-dark Groot, that was amazing. Alright, bye-bye guys. Mm -hmm.